morning guys from another video here in Lebanon specifically in Beirut and in today's video I'm super excited to share with you because where I'm back yeah because Luke's <laughs> back yeah. Yeah. welcome back Luke <laughs> what's the Lebanese hello yeah. <laughs> good morning guys that means good morning yeah yeah so Luke beat me to the punch he is back he couldn't stay away after one month finally he came back to explore more of Lebanon for one, two, three, four weeks, maybe the rest of the year. Who knows how long he'll be staying. Yeah, maybe forever, yeah. So we've got the squad, you guys know Fouad quite well at this point in probably like 19 out of the 23 vlogs. And in today's video, guys, we're heading up to Rabbit Island. But first, we gotta make a stop in Tripoli because we're going to be picking up a boat for the day. We're going with about uh, eight of our friends total, and we'll be taking like a boat from 10.30 a.m. to actually, no, we're already late. We'll probably get there around like 11.30, yeah. and, then, and then we get back at six. So we'll tour around Rabbit Island, do some snorkeling, swim in the ocean, eat some food, have some drinks, and uh, it's gonna be beautiful. I think it's like, what, the only island in Lebanon? I think so. It's, yeah. Maybe it's like a unique island in Lebanon, like Rabbit Island, where like turtles migrate. Yeah, I yeah. think during winter, I don't know the details, but that's what I heard like some locals were saying about the Rabbit Island. Yeah, it yeah. closes on winter for like the migration of the turtles and like stuff. So yeah, it's yeah. beautiful over there. You'll love it. Yeah, yeah. So we're super excited to show you guys. We've got about a one hour and 30 minute drive if there's not traffic from here in Beirut up to Tripoli. So we'll see you once we get up there. You're gonna uh, love it, guys. Yalla! All right, we have to make a quick pit stop here, get some proper essentials for the boat. Since we're gonna be out there for about eight hours, we gotta get some uh, booze, some water, something to keep us yep. alive while we're checking out the place, so. Oh, oh I don't wanna leave this with anyone. It's too valuable. Don't worry, I won't steal anything. All right, let's see, we can get some essentials over here. Definitely a couple liters of agua is gonna be necessary for the boat. Gotta stay hydrated, gotta stay alive. All right, here we go. We'll definitely need a, a couple items from this section, I'm thinking. Something that's gonna, you know, take off the edge a bit, get us ready for the day. All right, let's get the, uh, the specialty Gordons right here. Oh, yeah. For 199, so that's that's gonna be about 10 US. We get three liters What, three liters? Bring back the great stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way that has real vodka in it. Are you, oh. You're crazy, bro. I think like it's hefty. That's almost like Prada. Pravda. Pravda. <laughs> it's got a nice jewel on it too. Yeah, maybe like Luke will sell his liver for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some Red Bull. There we go. That'll that'll do the trick. Twenty five thousand a Red Bull. So we're talking about a dollar and thirty cents with the eighteen thousand conversion rate. Yep. So oh, we got some uh, so chips. All right, we got we got a couple options. Enough to, enough to chat down, yeah. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. Let's go, bro. Let's... What are your guesses on how, what's the total going to be? I think four hundred thousand. Yeah, around four hundred or three hundred k. Get them loaded up here. Yeah. Five six nine. You said five six nine. I said five fifty. Oh, it's four hundred thirty five. Four hundred thirty five. Four thirty five. So the total came out to just over four hundred thousand, which was about like twenty two U S dollars. For us to get all of that so i mean quite inexpensive given that includes that many red bulls and gin and all that so we're ready to go let's do this time to continue the next one hour and we will be up in tripoli so we're just arriving into tripoli now after probably an hour and 30 45 minutes with a couple stops probably took a total of two hours and it's 11.36, we were supposed to be there around 10, 10.30ish, so yeah, we're uh, we're quite a bit late, but... No, uh, on time for Lebanese time. Exactly, yeah, yeah, this is Lebanese time. Perfect timing. Yeah, yeah, called, exactly. This is called Tripoli Almino. And it's your first time here, Fouad? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, so, he, oh yeah, he's even using uh, Google Maps to find his way. That's not very amazing. Lebanese of him. Yeah, it looks amazing, but... Yeah, way. it's beautiful. If you guys take a look, we have palm trees here. Uh, quite a few boats out here in the marina. And it stretches quite a bit of ways. We came from all the way back there. And uh, I think we're going to be pulling up to one of these spots right up here, right? All right. After a little confusion, we have made our way to the harbor and found our boat. It's right back here. We got our captain who's been, been waiting a solid two hours for us. So, so Bajo. My name's Mac. Ah. Mac. 
Albert. Albert, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sweet. So this is the boat, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Do a little do a little tour here. So we've got the uh, the captain's seat right over here. This is where the magic happens. There we go. Yeah, nice views right here. Got a little downstairs area too. Right, we got a watering closet down this way too. Let's check it out. All right, and oh yeah, place to do the business. That's good, that's good, always necessary. Let's see what we got up front. Cruise on up to the uh, deck. And this is where we can chill. This will be where we're uh, hanging out on the way to Rabbit Island. A little spot to jump off as well. All right, excited for the day. So how far is the uh, cruise over to Rabbit Island? How many hours? Uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Uh, about. For, okay, 45 minutes to get okay. to Rabbit Island. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Guys, I missed one part of the boat tour. Probably the best part. We can climb right up here. It's a chilling spot. And then yeah, Mr. Demant is up here showing off the top. The sun deck, where we're gonna get absolutely fried today. If I didn't already have skin cancer from the Australian heat, I'm gonna get it today. Yeah, today is definitely the day. All right, so we've got El Capitan. We are finally en route. Better late than never, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Yep, yep. All right, so we, we've got the squad here. We've got Teresa, we've got Leah, Leah, Leah? Leah, Leah, I got the accent right, yeah? Pamela, we got Fuad. Hey, what's up? You know him quite well at this point. <laughs> And look who we got up here! Oh, oh, geez, yeah. I'm... <laughs> Woo and we have Celine right here. And you already met Luke. Let's get it. So we got the squad. That's who's going to be coming out with us to Rabbit Island. Fuad just told me that on Rabbit Island there actually are rabbits. Yeah. That's true, yeah. I just, I just knew that. Are they like big rabbits or what? Probably. I've never been there. Yeah. Oh, so it's your first time. Yeah. Nice, nice. So has, has anyone else yeah. been here? I've been to Rabbit Island? Oh, perfect. So it's, it's everyone's first time. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's going to be amazing. All right, this took us probably 30 minutes to get our drinks going. Oh, I should have been filming you the whole time. Oh, yeah, that would have been that great. Been, it, was, yeah. it was hysterical. I was watching it. Yeah. <laughs> Luke was literally just having a blast watching us. There was four of us trying to pour drinks. I wish I had it on camera because the boat, like, it's not as bad now, but it was, like, rocking back and forth with some big waves as we were uh, leaving the, uh, the harbor here. And... Of course, we like had some of our uh, drinks pre-mixed, but like not fully. So we were trying to mix some drinks, mix some ice, and falling over. But we have some good drinks here. We've got gin basil. We've got like a strawberry drink right here going. And the amount of time it took us to get these drinks ready, literally, once we finally got the drinks poured, we're already arriving here to uh, Rabbit Island. Doesn't seem like there's too many people here. We got one boat over here. We've got like uh, one, two, three, four in the distance. So it seems like we're gonna have this place all to ourselves. And as you can see, the water's getting way more clear, not as brown as like when we were first leaving the port. Our captain has already given up. We've got a, we've got a, uh, a new captain in place here. Captain. First time ever. Oh uh, yeah, it's my first time ever. All right, well, you seem like a natural. <laughs> getting us a little closer, then we don't have to swim as solid at 100 meters. Yeah, yeah. Ready? go. Oh, oh. <laughs> How did you go up, guys? Did you film that? Yeah. Oh, Alright, you guys got to see a quick glimpse of what it looks like from up in the air. Now we're going to swim just a uh, quick, probably, I would say 100 meters to get there. And the nice part is the water is so warm that it makes it super, super enjoyable. So here we go. Let's get back in the water and uh, start this swim. Swim. We're gonna do a back float most of the way to get there. Uh, save the energy. But it already makes you run out of breath. Luckily, once you get a little closer to shore, you can stand and walk in. So we're about to arrive to Rabbit Island. Key folk. Oh yeah, it's super slippery when you're walking out on these rocks. Like they're like slimy. You're like, I gotta run back to the sand. How is it up there, bro? Sorry. Anything good? No, it's absolutely nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's that's exciting. All right. Well, we got a little sign here. We can see what Rabbit Island looks like if we take a look up at this sign. Ah. All right. Palm Island Nature Reserve here. They've got an Instagram page. It looks like. If you check it out right there. So they got a watchtower. Floating wharf, that sounds pretty cool. Palms, parasails, that probably means umbrella, direction sign, boardwood fence. 
a little bit. Seems like this place was maybe hit with like a hurricane. All the walls are torn down. All right, so I think we're coming to the more like populated area. If you remember the sign I was showing you where like the dock leads way out there, I think that's where maybe it used to be kind of popping off, but now it's still pretty quiet. You got maybe four or five boats in the distance over here. When I flew the drone over, I saw there were a bunch of people up here, but it's super beautiful. The water is so clear. It's really, really warm. Honestly, I was hoping it was gonna actually be a little colder so we could cool off a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's too hot. And when you're walking on the sand, it's literally like, what, what were you saying, like Aussie sand? It feels like Australian beach is just burn. Yeah, seriously. Have you, have you guys ever been to Rabbit Island? No. Oh, first time. All right, so everyone's a first time explorer here. And yeah, what are your first like thoughts of it? It's very pretty. Very pretty? Yeah. And yours? It's yours. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. I'm trying to find the rabbits though. I don't know where they are. There's probably no way they're surviving. They Definitely. So here is the most populated part. We got the beaches. Is that a little restaurant up there? Or more like a picnic spot? It might be. Yeah, everyone's got coolers. What's the Aussie way to call them? Eskies. 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 Maybe the only way to call them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not the Aussie way. Yeah, no, not when you come to the US, bro. It's like, hey, you got a cooler? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's just wrong. If, if you say whatever term you just said, they're going to be like, oh, what? <laughs> Well, I, when I was saying it before, I had to think of like, all I know is esky. I was like, fuck, oh, they're not going to understand well, what is actually the word. Yeah, yeah. what I'm is like an esky? I was like, oh, cooler. Yeah, cooler. So, yeah. That's a classic Aussie slang. So yeah, the official name for this place is Welcome to the Palm Island Nature Reserve. Got some options to chill here. You know, it's pretty relaxing. It's like, honestly, it's a it feels like a completely different country than normal Lebanon. They're just like Greece. Yeah, the it does kind of feel like Greece. The Greek Although the sand's a little bit more fine here because like in Greece it was like it was kind of rocky almost Whoa Every few minutes you uh, take a step you got to go back in the water because it's so hot here But you know you're getting you're getting that tropical feel here in Lebanon. So it's amazing Oh, oh We found the craziest side. We're talking half a meter jump And it's probably like a quarter meter deep. Seems like there's a bit of a current over here. Oh, and he's off. How is it over there? A, a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a cliff jump. Oh, I, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if he's gonna make it. Let's, let's see what's going on over here. Oh wow. <laughs> Cannonball? Yeah. There he goes. <laughs> there he goes. It's gonna be a triple backflip. Oh. So we got some swimming in. We're uh, we're swimming all the way back here to the boat. Fuad's literally been swimming from there, literally all the way from where we were at in the rocks from there and uh luke's gonna beat him back just to kind of show him that he's a better swimmer so that's a typical luke move guys we're making progress i can see the boat looks like Floyd's made it key folk cool we're almost there i must say filming while swimming is a little harder than just swimming but i wanted to show you guys the full rabbit island all right guys we made it back up finally a little out of breath. Seems like the girls needed some saving though. Flood! Are you doing a jump, bro? Yeah. Come share Disclaimer. Up. Disclaimer. I'm telling Flood. Luke and I are both telling Flood don't do it. This is on camera. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah. Flood really wants to do it. This is just. <laughs> yeah, all right, there we go. Yeah, that, that's squad backflip. Yeah, that was a nice shot on the jump, though, bro. He's getting ready for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, we got another Fabio up here. Everyone's Fabio today. <laughs> We've got El Capitan out there. He's telling us that it's uh, it's worth a dive down in there. 
It's about uh, four feet or roughly 1.3 meters deep. So not much of a dive spot here, but let's let's go in and see how it is. Yalla! Yalla Bina! Here we go! I'd say that's a 10 out of 10, bro. Easy 10 out of 10. Easy with that. Yo, bro. They look good? Yo, guess what the ratings were? Guess what the ratings were? So bad. 10 out of 10? Guess what she said? Like two? No, she said 11 out of 10. Walla, walla. Dude, we're finishing off the day. I got, I got a small battle scar, though. In between my toe, we're bleeding. I, I slipped a little bit. But uh, we're back in business. We're back. We're good to go. That's a proper battle scar for the day on the boat. You know, no stitches needed, but you know we've, we've got proof of the boat. How about that? I'm the one bleeding for once. Yeah, yeah exactly. Usually it's this guy always bleeding. But you know, you need proof sometimes for these vacations because out here on the coastline of Tripoli, you need to see that. You need you need to slip and fall to fully experience it a bit, right? Al Capitan's finishing us up for the day. Habibi, yeah. Messi, Messi. Yeah, it was it was an amazing day. We got to finish off with the sunset out here. It's definitely a vibe out here, you know. We're we're pulling into Tripoli now. They wanted us to get our shirts on, so male or female, so I guess it's a little stricter around here than other places, but we're having a good time. We're coming up under the bridge. Marhaba! As always though, good days must come to an end, which sucks because today's day is coming to an end. We had an amazing time checking out Rabbit Island. Come on, how'd you like it, bro? It was awesome. That was awesome. First time on a boat and to Rabbit Island, yeah? Yeah, that's true. Would that you was... come back? Yeah. With back of course for sure and a heartbeat for sure for sure it's beautiful man we'll have to do it again so i hope you guys enjoyed that obviously it wasn't a super detailed vlog today but like you know we checked out rabbit island we uh cruised up to tripoli and we had an amazing time on this boat you can rent it for about 2.5 million lebanese lira for one day which you can seat up to 12 people so 2.5 million is roughly with today's exchange rate, roughly like 130, 140 US dollars. So for like 12 people, it's a, it's a very nice deal and it's beautiful. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed it, it'd be amazing. You can smash that like button. And if you want to see more videos in Lebanon, make sure that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time.